So one of the things I wanted to test out was this pen here. Um, I used this last to draw these pages for my comic book to ink them in. And if you look at them, uh, let's see these two here, they're dated March of 2023, uh, March 2nd and March the 10th of 2023. So it's now October the 13th, 2023. And I haven't used this pen at all. And one of the tests that unfortunately you can't really do until you let a significant amount of time pass is test to see like, how does this work if I haven't used it uh, in that length of time or a certain length of time that is of, of any significance, which to me between March and uh, October today, that's seven months. So I haven't used this pen in seven months. And what I want to do is test to see how does it handle? And testing that is important. Testing this pen is important because it is uh, important to see how it reacts or how the point or the tip and basically the flow of the ink uh, is affected or not affected during that period of time. So I've got some of the same paper that I used to draw those comic book pages, Strathmore Bristol smooth paper. And we're just going to see how this handles. So I'm going to draw something, There's not going to be anything artistic, but it's just kind of feeling out how it feels. Wow, that's really nice. And again, nothing fancy, just going to sketch something, simple head here. And I would say this pen is really holding up well. It is uh, the point on this brush pen is, is, is really, really, uh, really sharp, which is what drew me to it. It's almost as good as like a traditional pen uh, or brush that I use, kind of like the Windsor Newton Series 7. Not quite as not quite as accurate. I mean, not quite as sharp. Certainly nothing. I don't think uh, as far as a brush pen is going to get close to that. But for a brush pen and for me not having to constantly go in and dip the, the brush into the inkwell, it's a huge time saver, especially if I'm doing a comic book. And um, and you guys know, uh, you guys and girls know, I, I, I do my comic both digitally and sometimes I go back and I'll just do stuff traditionally. But this main objective here for this brush pen is just to check how is the flow after about seven months of me not touching it. And I gotta say, this is pretty, pretty nice here. This brush here that, that, um, that I'm using here. Um, Again, I just do this quick little simple sketch here. And what's significant about it is because this is a cartridge, a cartridge loaded in here, as you can see. And again, the pen tip is again, quite nice. It's, it is synthetic, but the fact that, you know, I can set this on the shelf for about, you know, easily over six months going into seven months. It is great. I mean, this brush, I did not, you don't dip it in anything. Again, it is a brush pen. The brush flows out of that cartridge into this area and then out the synthetic uh, hairs here, the brush, uh, and it works great. This brush is the Kuretake Manin Muhitsu brush pen. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Um, so yeah, this is a really nice brush. As you can see here, after not using it, again, for several months, about six or seven months, the flow is still awesome on it. And it even has like a little ball bearing in there, I think, which is in the cartridge that helps get the ink to flow through into the, the synthetic brush here. So cool brush. This brush is a keeper and will stay in my collection for sure.